tell you why i'm so hyped there is so much life in this motherfucker i'm telling y'all right now there's chibi d off the wall in here uh and i took some of this woke and <laughs> let me tell you i'm more than woke, woke. right now i am on yeah. fire ladies and gentlemen uh it's your boy young hippie we are we, we, we're cozy today we're cozy today not too crowded we got k bug in the building what's up guy hey chillin', man chillin'. And we got the lovely Miss Chibi D, a.k.a. Annie, in the building. How are you? Good. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're mm -hmm. very welcome. It's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. um, you're not new to you're the show. You're not sitting in the corner anymore. I'm yeah, not. yeah. You've been here a couple times, you're but in you've this... always been in the corner. Yeah. I have, always. <laughs> <laughs> Most people call it the hot seat. This is the high seat. You're in the high seat oh, today. Okay. It, all, even though you get high in every seat in this this room. This is true. You're, you're now, you know. Dude, when, when we left... Last week, Kato was like, man, one of the times you guys passed that vaporizer thing around, I felt my arm go numb. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah, you might have yeah, you might have got a little something. A little something, <laughs> huh? We were smoking some loud, 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 man. We had we had so much going on. Like, it was all dabs. It was almost. flavor town in this bitch. <laughs> you missed out on that one. I wish you were here. It was crazy. Like, Chris came by and has this little... Satchel. Satchel, exactly what it is. <laughs> I think it's it what every like stoner needs to have. He had like 20 different grams of wax in there. All different kinds. <laughs> like, awesome. let oh, me yeah. tell you, he opened it. Uh, this is beautiful. What is that, velvet? Yes. <laughs> uh, um, let's go ahead. We got some shit to start off the show with cable do you want to go ahead do you want to try the rice krispie first or should we yeah, pass around the peach let's, rings let's talk a <laughs> little bit about the rice krispie first okay. i think so the rice krispies these are chris made these these are his actual own recipe uh what chris does if you guys haven't been keeping up with the show he actually is uh works in the kitchen for infusions um infusions are damn near in every single fucking dispensary i think they're like the og of edibles like you know before there was a sublime it was literally infusion everything in my mm -hmm. opinion that's when i started you know um so he works there and he makes i guess he makes edibles on the side at home or something i don't really know too much but he did make these ones and he brought some for us to try k book he's working on it he said there were 300 milligrams milligrams in this tastes like fire i can't taste anything really <laughs> So we so got I'm super glad before I just pounded this whole thing to the face that I asked him how much was in it so I can pace myself here. There you go. But so it we, tastes like a, a fucking Rice Krispie treat. So we well, got another one of those fucking secret punch you right in the face yeah. later type deals. Yeah. All right. We'll take that. I like that. And... uh we got tons of chibi D going around for sure. We got some life water. Uh, we got the salvation here. We're definitely, like you heard me say, on this woke, uh, which is why I'll probably be all over the place today. But hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's a beautiful Saturday. Let's get into our... You know what we should do? Where's those uh, rings? I got the rings right here, brother. We should pop those too. They're popped. Oh, They're they popped and popped. ready. Did you have one yet? No, I have not. I do want to talk about these rings. These are actually from the Infusion Thank Kitchen you. themselves. Chris did make these, but these are Infusion's recipe. Uh, the bag's just unlabeled. Yeah, it's non-labeled yet, but it is. It actually looks ready to be labeled for us. <laughs> so let's give these a shot. Mm. <clears throat> I love peaches. They're good too. Mm -hmm. How many milligrams are in these? Mm, I did not the ask. Says. But <laughs> drink your life water. I am. Oh, wrong water. Here, put some drops in it. 
It's a 150 milligram sample. We ate three and there's one, two, three, four, five left in here. So I don't know what the math on that is, but. 150, so there was eight. Yeah. So that's almost like 20, 25, about 22 milligrams per. Mm -hmm. Put some that that sugar is killing that the little sugar cr uh, granulates are fucking killing my teeth right now, but it is bomb. I'm gonna get into this rice crispy in a minute. All right. After we do weekly recap. <laughs> hey, bug. <laughs> How was your week, bro? Uh, it was kind of just a normal week. Um, I had I ended up having to get this boot put on my foot on Tuesday. I guess it wasn't a normal week. This thing um, said he had to get the boot put on. Like you could just put it on. Well, I mean, I had to. I had to go into the doctor's office to find out what they saw in the MRI that made me all of a sudden have to put the boot on. And apparently, there was a floating chip of bone oh, that's somewhere nice. in my ankle. So instead of just walking around on it like I have been for the past eleven months, they want me in this boot now. So. There's that floating chip of bone, yeah, something like that. That is that sounds, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to walk on that shit, dog. And um, but I I did have a uh, art show on I guess Friday, first Friday, um, over at three 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 Proxy, which is an apartment complex uh, right off uh, Roosevelt uh, Row there area, and. I was there for maybe an hour or two and ended up selling one of my canvases, so that was kind of bad. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> you know. That makes me so <laughs> fucking happy because every event we go to, I'm like, bro, bring your shit out. Like, bring, why, man? Like, why? Bring your fucking shit out. Like, my wife's like, my wife last night was like, it's a, really a shame you stopped doing this and I'm like well I've been doing other stuff she's like well maybe you should do this more so I don't know I need I need to go do some pictures I guess and bro yeah I'll be here you already know if you need somebody to be in them hit your boy up <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll be a subject you could dress me up in whatever you want we do some Halloween shit some weird yeah. shit for Halloween we'll see man I, I gotta come up it's it's hard when I don't have ideas or I'm like if I'm going somewhere where I haven't been before <laughs> I like to walk around with my camera and take pictures of like new cities, but like I've taken pictures of Phoenix. And you need to start doing weed pictures, bro. Like for real, stoner related pictures. Like, look, look at this spread. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll figure out what I'm gonna start doing next. Um, and then I guess the last big thing. Ooh, he's got an idea. What? Restaurants. Go to restaurants. Take food pictures. You could sell those to actual to the restaurants and magazines. See, my, my struggle with doing stuff like that is kind of like going and doing wedding pictures. I don't want to deal with snotty-ass fucking people. Hate your boy up. And, and the people that are going to pay to have professional food pictures taken are probably fucking snotty-ass people. Now, I'm not going to say one all of your in, friends. I'm not going to say all in all. Really? I'm not going to say all in wow. all. Wow. But I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like high <laughs> end. Like, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to walk into I don't want to walk into a place like that and have to like worry about how they're gonna judge me based on me having tattoos and shit. Oh, you could just hit up your boy like me, Chef Patrick, you know. You're talking about food like in the industry. I don't think that would be a problem. I'm, I'm a, when you said that I, I was can make thinking, you like, fancy ass fuck like. Why don't you fuck? Anyway. Come out, to, come out to the Vic, bro. I wanna, I There's all kind of tatted ass people out there. All right. Anyway, I don't. I'm not interested in taking pictures of food. I guess is more the it's thing. It's a different I'm element. I'm not interested in taking pictures of people at their wedding. I'm interested in taking pictures of grimy shit in the streets. All right, I, I can dig that. All right, go to Old Town Buckeye. There's a <laughs> lot of grime out there. No lie. <laughs> no lie. All and right. other than that. Um, Last week, uh, last weekend, Kato was in town for that bar crawl, the the White Claw one. How'd that go? It went pretty good. Um, definitely had a lot of people come out, um, talk to uh, just a bunch of people, and the bar that we had this like the uh, pre like the check in at was fucking stoked that we were there and like hooked us up with a bunch of stuff and 
We're gonna keep doing shit up there. The next one's gonna be for Halloween. Bunch of stuff, free drinks. Free. Well, I don't <laughs> drink, so I didn't drink anything. Cato drank the whole time we were there, and his bar tab was five dollars. <laughs> My new, I was so uh, I didn't drink. I just hung out. But Cato did drink the did whole time. Did you at least time. get food on the house? I would have got food. I didn't even order food. I didn't even. You like, were just chilling. I was just huh? chilling, man. Big chilling. It was. It was right after we came here, so I was just chilling. I, I was high it. still. I wouldn't just slapped wristbands on people, which mm. sucks. Told you, dude. It sucks. Told you. But yeah, the next one's gonna be October twenty sixth for Halloween. Ooh. So get your costumes ready. We do have a big, big show that day too. We do. Big show, but we'll do it early. No, we'll be good. We, yeah. We've got plenty of time for all that. Okay. I just want to keep <laughs> you guys informed that the 26th, we are shooting, um, it'll be a two part, three hour episode. The only way you might be able to catch the whole three hours at once is if you log into the live feed. Uh, but we do plan on having at least like six to eight guests if we can fit them in here, which we ain't gonna try to do at the same time, but um, and they're gonna tell some fucking scary ass stories. Like it's gonna get weird in here. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Make sure you have some really bomb ass weed. Maybe have some some of your kids Halloween candy, and especially the kind that has the THC in it. Already. Have some edibles <laughs> ready. You know what I'm saying? And let's get fucking creeped out. Annie, what? how was your week? What, what does a week like you typically look for? Oh, um, I feel like I need an undo already. <laughs> already? She's super lit. Okay. On that dab, so I'm going to... You guys good. can pass, um, uh, skip me next time. That's fine. That's <laughs> totally fine. That's totally Gotta be fine. Able to so talk. we'll just say the Cresco is working. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, you're so good. What does a week like me look like? A uh, week for me look like? <laughs> <laughs> that's the weed people look that's we're just gonna let you know what's really doing that to her this cresco <laughs> fucking gas pedal is something else you know what all I'm saying? gas no break all fucking <laughs> gas it's not a gimmick here so uh i'm pretty sure a couple of us are gonna be stumbling on our words but you're weak a week um typically i tr try to get to like a hot yoga class be working on some chibi D stuff a lot. Just um, getting the products launched. Um, I went to an event at the comedy night at Dom last night. How was that? That was dope. I really wanted to go. It's always fun. It was a uh, simple stand up, right? It was. Yes. Yeah, they they performed at our party. I, I shout out to them because uh, um, the way they got into the party was dope because they originally had their show that day and somehow like things got moved around and I felt so bad. So I had told Tangie like, hey, ask them if they wanna perform at the show. And they were like, oh, well they got a show next week. And then all of a sudden she's like, well, do you want them to? I was like, yeah, like, <laughs> let's get it going. So yeah, they came through, they fucking rocked the house. Yeah, Old girl funny. from PRC found out she was part of the club. So, you know, it, it was a dope experience. Fucking uh, Bubba, Bubba McComb is mm -hmm. uh, Slump Goddess's brother. She just did a stand-up show like two weeks ago or some shit like that. So, man, I need to get to these shows because it really looks like that scene is, <clears throat> is taking off. So, yeah, they're really starting to do some cool events there. So, You said fuck that grand opening of that new dispensary that, what was it, Soul, Soul Life? I didn't go to that. No, I know. That's why I said you said fuck it. Like, <laughs> no, I was. <laughs> <laughs> no. Where was that at? It's like in Tempe. Oh, I've been to that place already. I've been there. They just had like their grand opening. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I saw it uh, on like everyone's Instagram. I Instagram. yeah. They had buy one get one up to a. They have some dope half. deals. I got if so much. If it's not stuff. an ounce, I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just I went there for the first time, and everything, like, <coughs> everything I bought was like I got like that same thing free. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And then <coughs> the second time you go is like I don't know if it still is, but it's like thirty percent. I think I'm gonna pass one more time here. That's fine. <laughs> but I might take one of those gummies. You can't pass out on the gummy. Those are fine. Um, yeah, I think the second time was. 30% off your whole purchase, so I went and bought a bunch of Nature's Farm. Here's the thing, guys. Like, I got burned last week. So, after that experience, like, I just can't shop anywhere else. I'm just going to keep going to PRC. You know what, man? Fuck it. I got 
I got burnt by the dude so many times that it don't even matter now. <laughs> what do you mean burnt? Okay, so last week I went. He got some snickle fries. I, yeah, last <laughs> week. Last week I pre-ordered some weed on your uh, You know, called him up and I got there, and the shit they gave me was like it was pure shit. Like it was shit. Brown. It was brown weed. Like it was brown, right? And I was in such a hurry. I was just like, oh my god, like. Trade me this brown one for the other green one. And the green one was nothing but, like, sticks and stems. So, I'm, like, every blunt I'm rolling up, shit's just poking out and shit. It's like a cactus. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, I probably will never shop there again. Oh, shit. Because I found out that for the same price, I could have went to where Kyle shopped over at Cura Leaf and got something way better for my buck. So... Fuck Nirvana Center. And the sad thing is, is they were my go-to dispensary when we first started the podcast. So, fuck y'all. Y'all Shit. sold me some bunk-ass weed. Well, I ain't ready to say all that, but... Maybe not fuck I y'all saw, right I, now, but... I saw, fuck I that saw batch. what he got, and that batch was no good. That was not cool. It, it makes it, it makes me... Like, I don't, I don't typically order. I like to go and look at what they have, and that confirms why I like to go and look at what they have. I was trying to be on time, dude, and I still wasn't even well, on time. Well, man, maybe you need to work on that. Maybe the, maybe it's not their fault. Maybe you need to work on that. Bro, <laughs> I, left an hour, I left at the time I was going to tell you, and I still got here late. I spent 40 minutes on the streets, bro. 40 minutes. I was That's like... terrible. Yeah, the fucking freeway's closed. It's so annoying. <laughs> My week. Ugh. How was your week? Uh, let's see. So, <clears throat> excuse me. School was lit. I mean, it is always lit. Work, work is getting real dope, bro. I really love working. Uh, I got my first paycheck. Which I only had two days on it, but it was still tight because it was a good amount of money for those two days. So I'm like, I see what's coming, you know? You can do math? Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> I can do that math. Uh, that, that's for two Actually, days. I couldn't. I was like, Kristen, <laughs> figure this out. <laughs> Where, where'd all that other money go? Oh, that's taxes? Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. Y'all shorted me on some hours. Hold on. Hold up. I know I put the in dude more that work never than paid that. taxes before. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, nah, I have. I'm just kidding, man. I did for, I do be filing exempt though at the end of the year for that Christmas money. <laughs> but go back uh, and gotta, switch that shit. I got to remember this year at, at the at the beginning of the year when we get our bonuses to go exempt for the bonus because I forgot to go exempt for the bonus last year and they took like 40% of my bonus out of I don't, taxes. I think they tax your bonus anyway. You, I, can, you can go exempt for it. I've done it before. Listen here, people. You're learning new shit on here uh, because I know that it's an automatic. Yeah, because I when where I used to work, they were we got bonuses and that shit was like forty percent. And I was like, why would I even want this bonus? When I when I was in the when I was in the sales department, <coughs> if I would have a like a great <coughs> bonus check coming, yeah. I would always get that exempt. <laughs> well, like I'm gonna take all that this time. I, I didn't get a lot of big bonuses, so it didn't really happened very often yeah but when it did it was like i'm gonna take all of that all right well that's good to know because i'm keeping that in the back of my mind not like i'm gonna ever probably get a bonus i think i get tips though so if you guys are looking for a great place to eat come on out to verado to the vic free plug tip the cook tip the cook tip the cook you feel me tip the cook um <laughs> tell them that was the best filet i ever had oh my god i've been killing it on filet game bro uh the guy I work with, he's just annoying, I can't lie. I won't get too much on him on the show today because one day I might tell him about the podcast. Because <laughs> on, on God, I, I feel like he's the work snitch, on God. <laughs> on God. He already snitched. So this dude put his two weeks in, and it was like his last day like on one of my days off. And fucking dude's like, you know he be coming, he become drunk, right? Like I'm like, it's his last fucking day. Why do you care? Like He's already quitting. <laughs> Like he's already like after tomorrow, you never have to deal with the guy. What are you gonna do? Tell him, like they don't pay me em- enough to worry about what other people are doing. You know what work. I'm saying? If you're <laughs> if you're not if, getting if you're your, not a manager, yes. you don't pay me enough to worry about what other people are doing at work. Like focus on not getting shit sent back, bro. Like bro's <laughs> been getting shit sent back, and then he be trying to tell me shit. Like dog, I at least catch my shit in the window. Like oh shit, you know what I mean? But other than that, man. 
I got my first big banquet. Uh, we're gonna be feeding like six to eight hundred people this upcoming Saturday. So I'm real hyped for that shit, bro. I'm gonna take some woke. That's what I've been <laughs> doing, dude. I want to tell you, you know, yeah, um, about me. this shit. Uh, I figured out how to use it now, cause for the longest, like, I was just taking it to take it. Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. I can feel it. <laughs> um, God damn it, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna go back. <laughs> it's gonna go back. I was taking that shit to take it, right? Like in the morning. Oh my God, it's right there. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> and uh, so I take it in the morning before class. And I can, I, I can feel the spark. Like, you know, I can feel the spark. I can feel the change because with my meds, like with my meds, I just, I just chill out. You know what I'm saying? I just chill out and I can tolerate shit. But when I take my meds and then I take the woke, like I'm highly fucking motivated to like yeah. kill shit. Like I kill, like you would think I'm on crack, bro. Like, <laughs> like I'm on the dish pit. I'm doing dishes and I'm like, <laughs> ching, 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 just throwing dishes around and like, like there's this yeah. old lady in our class. Her name is Sheila and she always gets on the dish pit and like it backs the fuck up. Like it starts backing up and I'm like, I got this. I'm like Sheila, you had your time. Get off the pit. She's like, I tried as best as I can. I'm like, <laughs> I know you did, sweetheart. Let me show you how it's done. Try, <laughs> try it. <laughs> so, um, so then what I started doing was that's why I told you before the show I was gonna take one, but then you were like, no, I'll fucking take two. So I was like, all right, I'll yeah. take two. Two is the dose. <laughs> but I started taking one before class. Oh, Sorry, man. oh, we're dead. I'm we're just killing kidding. stuff. No, we're good. We're blowing up cameras. It's just live. Um. I t I've taken one before school and like I'm chill, you know, it's cool. It is what it is. I still do what I do, but I'll take two before work. Uh -huh. And when I'm at work, I'm just like I'm all over the place. I noticed it because she's passed out. <laughs> I noticed it because my fucking Achilles is hurting again. Like it's like it feels like I almost like was looking for my boot, bro. That's how bad I was hurting. I was like, I'll get it. If you need it back, I got somebody else that can give me one. No, no, you're good. <laughs> it, I just got to start stretching it and icing it. That's all it is because it's not it, it's not used to me, fucking standing mm -hmm. around right. six hours. So right, right, on my exactly. Feet, you know, plus school. So it's like fuck, bro. Like when I was playing football, I didn't even feel this pain. So, um, I'm ready to put this shit. Like I, I think I just put some of the salvation on before we did the show. How are you feeling? I can stretch it without any pain. I, I've been using the Salvation since you dropped off the last thing of it. And I've been using it on my ankle, which has, I mean, I'm so used to that pain now anyway. It just, it deads it for a little while. But oh, so what, dope. <laughs> what really, what really like, I had my wife rub some of it on my shoulders the other mm -hmm. night, and that felt great. And this morning, <laughs> I, like, leaned on my wrist wrong <laughs> and, like, <coughs> had a little, like, carpal tunnel feeling. Uh -huh. uh -oh. And I went and put a little bit of that on my wrist, and, like, two minutes, it was dead. Right? It's like the miracle. Yeah. Miracle bomb. <laughs> Whoa. I swear <laughs> I turned that down. What was that? Mike Tyson and his keyboard. My <laughs> I swear I turned that down. There we go. That was your. That's what would happen. That was if your I ate salvation, that. fighting okay. off the the pain. Got but it. The first hit was a knockout. Okay. My bad. That's if I had ate the whole rice cake speech. <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean to give anyone a heart attack. I swear I turned that shit down. Sorry, listeners, and sorry, uh, sorry, pe my my fellow oh. casters. So this uh, salvation, um, it, it gets rid of like sciatic pain for me. Like right away, I'll get like leg cramps in the middle of the night, and I put it on there, and it like they're gone right away. My kid gets. I think they're probably just growing pains. Speaking of, I've been using the uh, sleep tincture on the kids. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's been working. I yeah. <laughs> My daughter, <coughs> my daughter is a savage. <coughs> no matter what you do, <coughs> no matter what we try, she won't stay. It's like she wakes up at like 4.30. That's like her fucking scheduled time in her fucking body. But 
there were nights that like Kristen didn't put the, the the tincture in her bottle and she wouldn't really go to sleep. But when she put it in there, she like knocks it out. Uh. And like the kid, like my son does too, you know, like we give it to my son, like we give it to both of them. Um, and we do like a few little drops and shit. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, they, they go like, it's, there's no harm. Like they don't wake up like, I could I can't say that anything changed about my kids like they just there's go to no sleep. drowsiness in yeah the there's no side effect to it like my son is up ready to go put it like he just got his fucking Halloween costume so he's gonna be wearing that every day of the week <laughs> what's, he, what's he gonna be he's a Power Ranger bro wow red dude he's on his Power Ranger kick hard as fuck I put him on so I made the mistake a while back putting them on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the one that I used like to watch. The original, yeah, the OG. OGs, right? <laughs> and he was like, fuck yeah, dude. Like he likes the guitar part at the beginning of the song. So like that's his shit, bro. So we 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 saw it and I knew when it first when we first saw it we should have bought it. And they didn't have it anymore. They just tried to find it yesterday. So he's like one of the newer Power Rangers, which is cool to him, but to me I'm just like, fuck, this kinda sucks for him, but whatever. So it's not the original red one. Nah, he not. Other. Nah, he not. Whatever. He not the OG. Um, All right. So Z is what you're talking about, the sleep tincture. It's bomb. So it has the Delta brainwave derived peptides. So it's like all of your different brainwaves have to be healthy. Yeah. And so it like treats the Delta brainwave. It's got a little bit of melatonin, CBD yeah. curcumin complex, um, uh, GABA. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said that if uh, you need to take it in water because it'll stain. Oh yeah, because it's got. I, didn't, I don't listen to you. I didn't listen to you. Okay. So I'm Did you stain it? I, I've been. I don't know. I don't know if my my shit's been stained, but I'm still oh. raw dog in that shit. You can <laughs> you can you can take uh, take it under your tongue, and I actually have sprayers now too, so you can spray it into your oh. cheek. Um. So you're you doing good. Think. That's dope. <laughs> So you can do that, but you can you can also just put it in your glass of water. But yeah. so because the there's the curcumin in it, it, it makes it orange and that it it does stain. And so just rinse your mouth out if you if you're gonna do that. Yeah, I've been doing that. Or part. drink water after afterwards. It's it works miracles. Drink life water. <laughs> drink this life water. Talk about the life water. We're all sipping on some life water right so now. So this is um, the newest addition to our collection. It's fulvic enriched, um, um, pure alkaline water. They filter it over coral. It's got full spectrum CBD in it. And we all just recently dropped in the- I have not yet. You oh, haven't yet. So I was dropping yeah. some in right So this now. already has um, already has CBD in it, but we, to add add to the feelings of well-being here, are going to add um, our Blissful Awakening daytime tincture. How much should I add? Um, that's I good. See the, I see the numbers on here. Yeah. So. So do one more, do two of those. Two of those. Yeah. Hey, stimulate your mind. So you mind, can see how man. it's kind of how it's yellow. That's what it, it's the turmeric. But it, this is this breaks the blood brain barrier. So you combine it with this water, and this water is like amazing. And then just maybe give it like a little bit of a shake. There we go. And now we have like double, <laughs> double, double trouble. Yeah. Boiling. I am Hokey CBD'd. Hokey. And Dude. I took some of that woke before. So. Yeah. And this is all, there's no, all absolutely no trace of marijuana in these. No trace of marijuana in any of these. And the it's THC. actually, it's like, yeah. T my yeah. bad, THC. And it's just, it's a complex. So where, um, whereas um, a lot of focus is on like how many milligrams and you try to get like the highest milligrams in like a tincture. Um, this is water soluble. So like you saw us just drop it in the water. It's not ever going to separate. It just becomes a water. There's no oil carrier. And so because it's water sol soluble, you get 100% of the bioavailability. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so you need way less. Need a lot less. So too. that's why like he was talking about giving it to the kids. It's such a small amount and you can control it. So the complex. <coughs> Excuse um, me. I caught your cough. <laughs> Ooh, I apologize. Yeah. So the, this, uh, the daytime one, like if you have like a hangover or a headache or you have anxiety, take this. It's like um, just brings calmness and well-being. Yeah. That gal that was here before. Yeah. I, I was about to say, I think it was like episode 47 or 48. Mm -hmm. Dime was here and she had that hangover and mm -hmm. you gave her some, some yeah. of the woke and the 
You gave yeah. her everything. You gave her a little fucking potion. <laughs> by the end of the show, she, she was, was like a complete go. different. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look at Cable. By the end of the show, she was good to go. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Put I've, I've been watching that Wu Tang. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. I'm getting the you. booth. We gonna drop the we gonna drop the intro back on. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I I wouldn't even damage his beat like that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, we're going to uh, talk a little more about this here um, further along the show. Before we do, K-Boog actually has some dope-ass news. All right, so I saw this the other day and then kind of read into it a little bit more last night. Um, they opened the America's first cannabis cafe in L.A. Um, this week, October 1st, so last week when you're listening to this. And mm-hmm. basically the concept is... Um, pairing food and f- cannabis so they don't actually you ready the customers who visit the cafe will be offered tableside flower service ah. from a flower host and will be invited to choose a cannabis selection to be smoked on site uh, and i read that you know straight off the high times article um so Basically, you can go in there and smoke and eat and hang out. Um, let me see. I read that. All right, where was it? Here we go. Um, basically, the chef that's running it is Andrea Andrea Drummond. I, I'm not sure I how to say it, um, but has cooked for Wiz Khalifa. And oh. has done infused con- cuisine for him, but they don't do infused cuisine. They don't have the licensing for it or whatever. I'm yeah. not sure if they can there or whatever. So all the food is just food. Yeah. But it's supposed to be paired with well a- with flour, and they have dab bar in there. And um, <laughs> I saw honestly on a completely unrelated. Um, Instagram post today I saw somebody in that cafe smoking one of those like gravity bong things like that you always see like Seth Rogen have like the, oh, the, like, the, the flip hourglass over hourglass thing oh. and so I know at the beginning of November I'm planning a trip to LA and I think that might have to be a stop I think we're going so I, I will check in on it and let you know how legit it <laughs> this is, is but it sounds pretty fucking dope I need to go there I was going to say, they can't take my kids, obviously. <laughs> well, it says in the article, we have families reaching out wanting to bring their kids or grandparents and high, sco- and high school groups of friends flying from all over the world. It feels like Disney World is what <laughs> they said. The restaurant director said that. Well, yeah, I could imagine. <laughs> this is something new. This is exciting, dude. That's crazy. Shout out to them. I definitely am yeah. going to be checking that out for sure. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm done releasing. I see. I show. love shit like this because it just means like, somebody's doing it. How long until a lot of people are doing it, and then how long until anybody can do it? You know. Well, that's the vision. You got to start it somewhere. Well, Cali starts everything. Oh. I'm I'm actually kind of surprised that nothing like this had really popped up in Colorado. That makes sense. I mean, they've been legal for the longest, and but whatever. That I makes think sense. I think it's cool. Mm-hmm. I, I I want to begin to be able to go to more public places and be able to smoke. Even if I've got to buy what I'm smoking from them there, like at a bar, I'm about that. I'm down. Yeah, I would do that too, especially for like table side. What would you like, sir? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Give me an ounce of that. If, I'm just, can I smoke a blunt? Yeah. I, I mean, you know, and it, and I and it would be. I've got quite be a, fond it, of it that. It would be one of those things where you're like, yeah, I could go buy an ounce for this much and stay home and smoke it, or I got to pay a little bit more if I'm going to go out to the bar and do it. Just like drinking. Yeah, you know, exactly. It, it's exactly like drinking, mm-hmm. and you know, for that type of atmosphere, I if if I could go on Sunday and watch football in a bar and smoke bud. Oh, best believe. You know I would do it. Best believe. That wouldn't even be a thought. Because that's what keeps me out of the bar now, is just the fact that, like, 
I will. And I mean, I, I can. Don't you, drink. You, you know, and I mean, you can smoke your vape pen at the bar. It's and, gay. But it's just, nah. Yeah. I've. I don't. I don't I, think I vape as much anymore, bro. I. I don't much anymore either. But I'm not. Not. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't say it's because of the scare, though. No. I would just say that I just no interest. I only use it when I cannot smoke flour. I only yeah. use the vapes when we get them for free. <laughs> when, the, well, when somebody brings them through and yeah, I, I, I'll, I still get them, but I only use them when I don't have and I cannot smoke flour. And I'll get a, like I'll get a half gram cartridge and it'll last me like two or three weeks. Yeah, no, for sure. You know sure. what I mean? So, yeah. like, I will still buy one. I'll go buy one every once in a while. Compared because to them it's gonna dank last vapes, it used to last you like three days. <laughs> Wonder them, what that's them about. Them is the culprit. Wonder what that's about. Anywho, uh, <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Uh, before we get to you, I just got to give a quick message from our <clears throat> sponsors, which is the uh, Phoenix Relief Center, located um, at 60. Oh, my bad. 6330 South 35th Avenue, Suite 104. Uh, which is basically 35th Avenue and Southern. Um, remember, you can grab your vapes, which are all clean, lab tested, and from reliable sources from here around the valley. Um, they got distillates, um, and they got bar mass flour. That, that's just my favorite. K Book, do you have a favorite on their menu that you would go to every single time? Like a go to? Like a go to strain there? Or just like product. When you I, go there, I mean, what do you. I go there for flour. All the time, right? I, I, yeah. Their flour is crunch. It's crunch time. Like, I mean, I, I go to other places for flour, but that's what I get whenever I go there is flour. Yeah, because it's not like hit or miss. It's always hit. Yeah. Like you're getting fire. So um, check them out. Especially when they go into the back room to get something <laughs> for you. <them. laughs> yeah, buddy, you might get that. Let them know the hippie sent you. Yeah, let them know hippie life sent you. They'll definitely hook you up. And seriously, if you haven't been there yet, you've got to go check it out. First time patient special, buy one, get one, up to an ounce. I, I cashed out, yeah. I went there and got two ounces on my first try, so Man, it's real. I can't even say that I did because I went there before I really took that into consideration. That was one of the first dispensaries I ever went to, actually. Word. Um, and I, had, I went there on my birthday, right after I had gotten my card the first year. Yeah. And my plan on my birthday was to go to as many dispensaries as I could and get the birthday special and the new patient special, but I didn't really consider maximizing the new patient special because I needed to make sure I had enough room for everything for everything that was gonna be free. Well, so that makes I, sense, bro. I, I, if I had thought it through, would have saved it. I wouldn't have done it that way. <laughs> it's all good. I did that one time, and I think I hated it because the weed they gave me, the shit they gave me was trash. I, I will say I remember, I don't remember exactly what the strain what the strains were that I got there, but I will say that even from the very first time I had gone there, that they had fire flower. Oh, yeah. So and that was, that was literally, this is going to be my fourth year getting my card, which I you gotta I have soon. to do that November. really soon. You should. Um, I have to do it like. Don't this worry, week. I'm keeping track. No, nah, you know why. I'm gonna get it taken care of quick. <laughs> um, but yeah, I that was definitely even back then when I went there, I definitely noted that they did have wonderful flower. So check them out. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. What, Miss GBD? Hi. On to you. <laughs> How you feeling? Are you good now? I'm feeling much better. Feeling yeah, much better. Yeah. Drink some life water. I drink some life water. I'm back to you. life. Yeah, I just hit that. What is that thing called? The aura. I hit the aura too hard right <laughs> before we right before she we went on air. Out right before we went on air. We should. We? Yeah. This thing up. I felt like I was floating. You like did not put this. Like in I was here, here, but I wasn't. I didn't. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's good now. Uh -huh. It was just a little off center. That's probably why I wasn't banging out like it should have. There was a dab bar last night. New Miranda from Bapin. She makes me the best dabs. She makes me these CBD. Dude. Yeah. They, dude. I fucking love you, Miranda. Hey, yes. <laughs> All of them. They yeah. fucking kill. Yeah, they'll be here on the 19th. You can come by. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be here. Wild yeah. and out. And then a pink wreath they had, um, like banana flavored 
dabs too. What? Yeah. I love banana. I love, I love any strained see. banana. I me too. I'm a huge banana fan. I wanted to make my bomb banana. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. I can. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I'm excited. I'm gonna make some banana bread. Oh. Yeah. So K Boog right now is loading up uh, the aura with some Cresco gas pedal. Gas All pedal. All gas, no brake. And guys, let me tell you. Uh, I think every every week that we've brought the aura out, we've tried Cresco. We've tried numerous strains from them, from Indicas to Sativas. And I cannot lie, Cresco does not disappoint. So um, I know for a fact you can get them at Encanto. I think that's where Chris gets them. Um, but you guys should definitely fuck with them. They are, they're a bomb. Uh, and again, the aura makes it obviously a it thousand tastes. times better. If you can, yeah, reach out to your local smoke shop, see if they have that in stock. I believe the retail price is like three hundred dollars, but it'll be worth every bit of that three hundred. It's like an electric nail, but you can hit it anywhere you want. <laughs> and he's fucked up. That's what I'm saying. It's all good. <laughs> um, so why don't you tell the listeners like a little bit about yourself? Because okay. you do a lot of uh, yoga, for instance. I do on my best days. <laughs> Tell us about that. Yoga. So, um, well, it. So I taught yoga for in Seattle for four years, and then um, I suffered a, a traumatic brain injury, and I moved to Arizona, and um, I started going to. Um, this kind of like my story that leads up to CBD. So I um, started going to Barrows for a traumatic brain injury. And I was in like the 30th percentile for all these like executive functioning tests for my age. <coughs> and um, the first like four weeks, I got a little bit better <coughs> going to therapies. But then I started taking massive doses of uh, isolate. <coughs> and um, yeah, I started taking massive doses of like just like CBD isolate. And really, um, I did took some RSO and. Um, so you're trying everything. So yeah, when I, I like I met my business partner and he knew how to like use it to heal. And so I started I started ta using cannabis like in a completely different way. Yeah. And so when I went back to Barrows like six weeks later, I was in the 90th percentile. They're just like, what the fuck? We don't know what to say right now because people would thought that this I would happen. This yeah. could never happen. So <laughs> I would impossible. when I would when I would go to all the these weed jar. Yeah. When I would go to these therapies because they were like. You know, like my vision, like my eyes were like working separately. I was always having to take like sobriety tests and people thought I was drunk when I wasn't. Like it was like the worst, like for your self esteem and I didn't know what was wrong. Yeah. So to be like even getting, like having an explanation for it was amazing. Yeah. So <clears throat> I tried all these, you know, different um, methods with cannabis. And at the same time, like I, um, a little bit prior to that, I had said I want to start a um, CBD com uh, CBD line and call it CBD, <coughs> like chi. There you go. Like energy, and um, what I found was that it was um, really overwhelming for me to be able to understand the big the big words and language and the scientific explanations, like endocannabinoid system and like just using words like that. Um, you just lost me with endo. Yeah. <laughs> so like that's like this word that everybody like oh. talks about. Um, that's what I, it's like it's like it, it, the endocannabinoid system like um, it governs like all of your systems so oh, okay. so it's like um, when instead of treating like just um, a sore knee or like an illness CBD treats the endocannabinoid system whole, and that trickles down so super, that's holistic that's what's up yeah so I was treating my brain like on like a cell you know like on a cellular level because yeah. it and um, when I when all of this came together I was like wow <laughs> Um, this shit really works yeah. and um, GBD was born what is GBD? so GBD um, <clears throat> GBD is like a I don't know like a spiritual brand of um, of CBD okay so um, what I wanted to learn what the reason I even said endocannabinoid system was because I wanted to find a way to it um, to get that message in this medicine mm -hmm careful um i'm not a doctor so i can't call it medicine <laughs> yeah no that makes sense yeah um, but we do call it medicine yeah. in our in our world uh, yeah it's so um i wanted to uh find a way to be able to get this um healing um well-being feeling to people in language that they would understand that somebody like me would want to want to 
purchase, would yeah. want, want to use. Oh, yeah. And that really works. And so um, I partnered with Dom Life on this. Um, Shout out to yeah, Dom Life. And Todd um, has really made this the whole thing come alive. <laughs> okay. So um, we ended up picking these products because they were the best ones. And it took us seven, eight months of trying different things. And yeah. um, now you got life. Now we got life and we just got this water. It's amazing. It's crazy because every time you come, you have something new. Right. I feel like we've been talking to you about this for like since, months, almost since it started. Yeah. And yeah. Just when you had your little own little office. Progress. Yeah. It, I had a little progress. bamboo office. In yeah. Now. Yeah. Yes. That was tight. Yeah. It's been so now we're really getting ready to launch. And so like with I was talking a little bit about how um, all these products have this complex in it. Mm -hmm. So this is actually like a water soluble product. Um, it's uh, every every product in this line has a complex at its base. And then there's different healing modalities. There are like ingredients added in that um, are used in different like um, like in Ayurvedic medicine and different um, different natural medicine are added into these products to m enhance them and make them even better. Mm. And so they all kind of like work as, as an a unit. Yeah, as an entourage effect uh, to uh, um. to heal. So they all break the blood brain barrier, the absorption for the salvation. The reason it works so fast is because it has this complex and um, like uh, menthol crystals. Yeah, I can feel the menthol. Mm -hmm. And camber in it. And it I've just, accidentally like, rubbed my eye after using it. Yeah. <laughs> I do not suggest doing that. Don't do touch your do eyes. Do not touch your eyes. And after you know, using it, it. there's no permanent like harm to right. your eyes, but it's super intense it, and uncomfortable. It is. It's mm -hmm. like if you got Vicks Vapor Rub in your yeah, eyes. Yeah, but I have like friends that use it on their face. <laughs> what? I, Don't do that. Like, the closest I <laughs> yeah. like using it is on my neck. And even the vapors coming right? off your neck, you're like, oh. My yeah. eyes are watering, oh. man. I thought I got it in my I eyes. Like yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Sorry. Not you, just the fact. But that like I, I use it on my shoulders mm -hmm. a little bit sometimes because I've dislocated no. one shoulder and you now are. the shoulder that I've never dislocated what? is worse than the shoulder that I've dislocated. And so I use it on both shoulders because oh, I'm Oh, I've dapped some. Do you got some put on today? Yeah. I, I, I put some on. Look, now that you speak of dislocated it's in shoulders. It's box. Of, can I have this? <laughs> Yes, you can have that. Oh yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I have a, I dislocated my shoulder, and fucking, we're gonna try it out on this one. So yeah, I, I Put like I said, Achilles. I've been since since you gave me that one, I've probably used about a half of it. Yeah. I've been putting it on my ankle like every day. Ago? Yeah. I've been putting it on my shoulders, not every day, but when they're sore, I used it on my wrist this morning. Oh man, I got I, it. It helps. It's basically yeah. become part of your daily routine. Yeah. Uh, I usually like to make sure I know where it is at least once a day. That's tight. I love that. <laughs> that awesome. Is... That is such an awesome, awesome testimony right there. <laughs> you deserve it. Yay. That's to <laughs> you. It works. That's your shit. And the cra the dope thing is, is the day the day we met and talked about it. Yeah. You you sold me on it because the. You, your explanation was perfect because I don't understand chemistry and science. But there was there was shit you were talking about that I did remember from a little bit of high school chemistry and a little bit of science that I was like, bro, this shit, like, when you said it, it was a water-soluble, I was like, okay, then you don't even need a lot of it. Like, you barely need any of it. Right. Like, when you, that was it right there. And then you, you said something about something, and I was like, bro, that is like a 95% chance of being effective. And I was like, that's it. I'll take yeah. it. I'll take it. So th from then, uh, I think you came back. You brought me the woke. We popped him on the show. <laughs> and so we were did. just fucking wired throughout <laughs> the end of the show. Um, and not in a bad way. No, 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 no. It's not. No, it's not in a bad way at all. It's like mm -hmm. it's like a cup of coffee, but more potent. Like, Because I don't drink coffee. But I took these. And, like, I'll go straight from school. Like, usually I like to leave school. One day I stayed at school, did a whole PowerPoint project, did a fucking homework assignment, right in, like, the amount of two hours before class. And I went straight to class. I was like, bro, I didn't even need to go home and smoke <laughs> weed to get that done. That's amazing. Well, I was, you know. These are part of my daily routine. Um, being prescribed, what was I? I was 25. I got prescribed, uh, my doctor started, pres started prescribing me like a really high dose of Adderall. And for like 15 years, I was looking for something that yeah. I could take that would like 
um, at first, like, um, it was like the first day that I took it, I forgot to take my medication in the afternoon. And then that just like kept happening. And so now I've just been taking it instead. Yeah. And I'm functioning, I'm here. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, yeah, no, you, you look, I'm like, I'm gonna tell you, like, you've made so much progression every single time you've come through. Like, shit was, it's like, it's like this. And now you're just like, yeah. oh. like shit's tight. It's yeah. tight. I'm, I'm real glad uh, to see everything like finally fucking. Yeah. Unfolding for you. Super excited. So you can buy all of this. We have, um, you can buy it at uh, chibd.life. Okay. Um, follow us on Instagram, chibd.life. And um, you can buy it at Dom Life. Dom Life. <coughs> Talk to Tangie over there. Yeah. She'll hook you up. You guys are familiar with Dom. That's where we do our party. So <laughs> pull up. Uh, for real, it's it's approved. It's 100% approved here. Uh-huh. We approve it. Uh, we suggest it. Um, I look, Honestly, my nose is, was getting a little stuffy, and I brought this up to my face. Like, just, because, <laughs> just because I know it has the mint. And it's like... Well, yeah. It's not as like burning as Vicks, but it's like it's there. You know, it's kind of it's it does it does good it's things. It's got better. Well, so menthol is in oh, Vicks, yeah. yeah. Okay. So when I when I get like mm-hmm. sick before this, I would have to take um like a CBD cream that I had, and I would mix it with Vicks vapor rub, like because I would get like these horrible leg cramps, and then also like if my chest was congested, that was the only thing that worked. Well, oh. now I put this on my chest every night, and essential oils. Um, that are in this, you know, they are like transdermal. They're going to come mm-hmm. into your body, into your bloodstream, and so you're getting the like a set, sedi- uh, sed- sedative, 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 <laughs> Fuck. sedative. It's the still brain, the dab. Still the brain, brain injury, right? <laughs> Creeping back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You get a sedative. Um, uh, oh, I just got this shit on my lips. Um, a relaxing feeling. It helps with relaxing. You got it on your lips. Yeah. There's like a little strip of it. I think I might have got it on the blunt. It'll be like a... <laughs> like a cold strip of shit on my like a, <laughs> Right. Like a... <laughs> you got a cold strip right here. Like a cold I sore. think I've accidentally gotten it everywhere. It's not, co- it's not a sore. It's just cold. Yeah. Kyle's like, I don't want that blunt. No. <laughs> oh, don't shit. Know. Kyle's face. Really, nigga? <laughs> You're out of here. Oh, my God. So, um, I just, I just want to know what... What's your mission with CBD? My mission with CBD. Um, now that you got shit. Now that I got shit, I just rolling. Um, I believe these like what we have is something like so special, and it, I, it's really going to be able to help a lot of people. So my mission is to find the right way to deliver that message and to um, to to bring the people to CBD and bring CBD to the people. <laughs> well, let's do it. Hey, if you guys think that she should uh, fuck with us and have us, let's do something crazy. We're going to do a CBD release party. <laughs> Boom. Oh, let's do it. yes. <laughs> talk to TNG. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to talk to you and get your dates. Then we talk to TNG. <laughs> okay. You got to have the release date. Whenever you're ready, we'll make it huge. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Party. Yay. Hey, that's Yay. what's up. Okay, so guys, we need your help, really. Um, this needs to get to the people. Uh, the way that's gonna happen is literally by word of mouth, and I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you get on chbd.life or get to fucking Dom Life, it's on 32nd Street, Thomas, excuse me, <coughs> and, tr- and try one of these many numerous products from rubs to pills to tinctures. Um, I mean, there's water, there's you literally the everything. There's the pet. Kyle. We have a sleep tincture. Ky- that's got Kyle int- interested. Why don't you tell us about the pet one? We haven't. Oh, okay. So the um, the pet, the animal companion tincture. Um, you'll see there's Scotty dogs on the front. I lost my Scotty dog. Oh. Last, um, it's been exactly one year, and he actually had three years added onto his life. When he was ten, he was diagnosed with end stage liver disease, like cirrhosis. So um, changed his diet and put him on CBD and his liver regenerated. Wow. So, um, I Oh, for real, for real. Yeah. <laughs> and so we got three more years. Last fall, he's a he was a snowbird, with my parents snowbird. Yeah. He made the trip all the way down to Phoenix from Washington to spend 2 days with me and then he crossed the Rainbow Bridge 
So I wanted to have a pet product. It's the same human complex as in the day as in our daily one, but it's just a lower dose. You can drop it in their water. If they have, like my dog had, um, you know, cirrhosis, and so the it, there's no oil carrier, it, 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 so it doesn't have to go through the liver, so it just gets right into their bloodstream right away. You don't have to put it in their oh. mouth. They can just drink it. I'm gonna do something special for you. I just got an idea too. Yeah. Yeah. You like your ideas. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <coughs> I'm gonna make you. A, let me have someone make you a design for that dog, and I'm put it on the shirt. So hope. It's gonna be like a hippie life, Scotty dog. Oh. <laughs> All dogs go to heaven type thing. It's gonna be lit, bro. Do you see that one says in loving memory of Ordy? No, I didn't. Yeah, so that's what the label has a Scotty dogs. Yeah. So we, st I still have another Scotty dog. He's a, he's ten, and he's a blonde one. So we had a black and white. Is that the <laughs> is that the um, <coughs> the one you had on your? Um, I I just saw it on your on your phone screen. Your, your screen saver. Oh, in that's the snow? that's Ordy. He's the one that died. Yeah. But um, he's, he's here. He's so cute. And yeah. then we have this little blonde, blonde cute, <laughs> just so super cute. Uh, um, <coughs> like Wheaton, Scotty. Weed. Yeah, Wheaton, Scotty. So he's blonde. Okay. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Is Mr. Biggs a Scotty? No, he's a uh, Yorkie. Oh. Mr. Biggs is so cute. Kitty. Hi, Mr. Biggs. Little kitty pie. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you got some really, really big things coming. Yeah. Up. It's exciting time. Are you allowed to talk about any of them? Mm. Or maybe a little bit of them? Um. Maybe one of them. Just look Maybe for, just look them. to see uh, CBD like really starting to um, blow up. You're gonna start hearing about it more and more, and and uh, just just look for surprises and new ways of doing things. We like surprises. Yeah. <laughs> we like surprises. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that was that was beautiful. We got it's not over. Okay. We got we got the fun questions now. Okay. Because you're really high, so these are <laughs> these are gonna be dope. All right. Question number one. Yes. What three people would you want in your smoke session? If you had like <coughs> the ultimate smoke session and you had to have three people, what three people would it be? Anybody? Anybody in the world. Can we take a break? <laughs> you wanna take a quick commercial uh, yeah, break? Yeah, real quick. Yeah, we can take okay. we'll take a quick commercial okay. break and we'll get right back into okay. the questions. Let's do it. Yeah. Parades in my city like Vegas. Like Vegas. I need a million people screaming my name. Kino, Kino, Kino. Really, I'm not with the bull, I'm stubborn, baby. Maybe I will or maybe I won't. And that's a whole lot of maybes. Got a whole lot of babies. They need some brand new Mercedes. Can't wait till we take flight. No more asking for favors. I got a plug on the west side. Who got all kind of flavors? Buzz looking like craters. So I forgot what I came for. I still need to give me a passport. Fuck it. Never been basic, but keeping it simple, stupid. That's how I'm selling now. Still on the rise. Yo, what's good, everybody? We are back. Everybody is unloaded. They're comfy. Um, and we got some questions here for Annie, <laughs> a.k.a. Miss Chibi D. Um, question number one. Yes. What three people would you want in your smoke session? I've got to tell you um, that the my best smoke sessions lately have been when I've come to hippie life. That's tight. Yeah. So the only thing that would make this smoke session better was if Tangi was here Tangi. in that seat right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tangi's cool. Yeah. I love Tangi. Yeah. Wow. I, hey, that's honor. Yeah. Right, I take that. Yeah. That's the honor. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, was, I was never expecting to be no, called yeah. on this one. I thought she was going to say like, some celebrities like i knew tangy was gonna fall in somewhere but like, uh, that's tight yeah, thank you yeah we try our hardest to like yeah you know make the session we try, to, yeah. we try to be fun yeah so fun i hope we fun you're so fun <laughs> <laughs> tight okay and it's like for me like i get to go to the, i go to this place that's like not my house it's not anybody's house but it's your house yeah but like this different place in smoke and, and for me like it's a it's private, different, huh? yeah. It's, it's different. like you, you. It's it's cozy. Yeah, because the energy, the vibe is always so good here. The energy, like I, my frequency is always raised when I leave. And as soon as I get here, yeah, it gets real calming. Like, see, yeah. And, and the thing is, is I invite people just to come chill, come yeah. catch a vibe. 
Oh, we getting high, high. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm good though. All right. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep it going. Over here. Oh, I just double tapped. Oops. You just you Triple just. Tapped. That, you just I love that thing though. Level. That thing is dope. <clears throat> I want to say again, big shout out to Chris. We got this for free. This wow. is a three hundred dollar piece. Us. He comes through every weekend and gives us shit to try in it. So <coughs> I really do love that dude. <coughs> <coughs> you have cute. <coughs> After I die, I'm back. You want me to ask snake. the next question? <laughs> yeah. So while he dies over there, sure. The next question. Yes. What would you do with a time machine? Shit. With a time machine. With a time machine. I would go all the way back to like Ad- Atlantis. Maybe before. I, can I can I go multiple times? Like, can I do whatever I want? Is this something it's, it's I own? Kind of, it's kind of a one time, like one day, one shot. What would you do? You got one day to do it. Oh gosh. Um, I'd either go back to like the ancient like pyramid time or to like Atlantis, like one of those or Lemuria, wherever it is that is my like club resonates like closest with my like being being like that's where I would go. I feel that. All to right. that different time and place where, like, we could fly and, like, shit was fucking cool and, like, there was giants yeah. and aliens were just, like, other other beings and, oh, you know. Oh, <laughs> I see you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I Are like you back that alive answer. now? Huh? You're back alive. Here I'm he back is. alive, yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, yeah, I snuck back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you <laughs> Oh uh, shit, it was more like, hey. You want to get high? I, mean, I got a little <laughs> too high. Uh, yeah. That's so dope. <laughs> uh, I was here. I hit that shit. Uh, I was what like, the fuck was that? Uh, look, I was like, good God. Got that integrity farm. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Shout out again <coughs> to Cresco for real, bro. Yes. Like we said, gas pedal. All right. Next question. All right. What superpower would you want to have if you could have one? Oh, uh, astral project. I don't know what that means. Elaborate. That means like um like on Star Trek how they could just oh like go light speed. I don't know. I don't watch Star Trek. So you've never seen them beam? So like you'd want to be able to beam from one place to another. Yeah. Okay. Like teleport. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> teleport. She said the fucking trippy name for it. Teleport. Hey. Um, ask the teleportation. There you go. Just okay. to be able to move from one place to the other, or be Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, shit! Oh yeah, I'm lit. Okay. Or you know, like, so I do like I do Reiki, like I practice Reiki, and so like it's actually like something um, to be able to like just heal people with my hands. <laughs> oh word! Dude, yeah. No lie, I when I was really, really, really sick with my diabetes before I knew that I had it, and like. I had all the muscles in my body had basically astro- at atrophied and like my Astro project back <laughs> was in a constant knot. Yeah. And I had one of the doctors did a little bit of Reiki um, on me. Yeah. And it like it was like <coughs> my whole back went like this. Yes, it's so amazing. And it didn't stay like that for very long because I was in such How bad shape. Was off? But when she, it was like she touched like four places on my back and it just melted. So it, does it make me look like um, I don't even fucking care because if I could actually pick like in a real superpower, it wouldn't be teleportation. It would be to be able to like heal, heal people, people with, with my tongue. Ta- yeah, like That's, completely. That is a dope superpower. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. It. Healed. Okay. Healed. Huh. Yeah. That is like okay. the teleportation was like a little like ego like. Uh, like my initial, like maybe my like pre awakening mm-hmm. response to that, but no, it would be to like fucking boom, you don't have diabetes anymore, boom, like just <laughs> fuck yeah, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, that, I think that's the best answer we've ever had to this. Yeah, word up, it's not so because everybody's like fly. Yeah, everybody says I'd fly. Oh, I fly. But what the fuck? It's like I easy. mean. You would, you would heal everybody. No yeah. offense to the flyer. <laughs> hey, no offense love, to the well, flyer. flying was a thought. We love y'all flying. <laughs> yeah, uh, but she, they can fly to me then. I'm going to call the healer first. (laughs) Word. (laughs) All right. Yeah. Next one. Okay, more? Yeah, we got two more. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite smoking routine? 
favorite smoking routine? I am not one for routine in any area of my life. Is there something you do constantly when you smoke? Like, I, you like, for me, like when I smoke, I have to be watching some. Like, I'll pull the laptop up or my phone and watch like ESPN or some shit. No, I'm so versatile. I'll get like in um, a face. Like, I love to smoke before I go to hot yoga. Like, that's my favorite. Um, or um, like, I just smoke when I'm watching my shows. That's a routine. Okay. That's a routine. What shows? What shows? You oh, guys? I've been Netflix? watching all of them. I've been watching so much stuff because um, it's fall. Okay. Return and. Um, all the I, Halloween shit. No, I don't watch that Halloween shit. I do. I was never free form. Um, free form playing all that shit. I watched Edward Scissorhands the other day, and <laughs> as you get older, you start like like really really like appreciating some of that shit. Yeah, yeah. man. For me, because it's so cornball, bro. It's like oh my god. And back in the day, it was like great acting, and it's just like. This is dope. I, the, those scary movies are not for me. Oh, really? Yeah, I... I can't wait for them. I don't like them either. Like, we're trying to go to fucking 13th floor, but I don't know if... Well, I don't even know what that is, but it sounds oh. scary. <clears throat> yeah. It's I don't like, need to be spooked. It's a theme park, like a scare park. It's like one of the... It's, a, num- it's like a haunted house. It's I'm like, like number one of the top rated in the, in the nation. I mean... You don't think I can go with this boot on my leg? Nigga, I'm not. I, I was going to be hiding behind you. What the fuck? Can they touch you? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I can't. Are you gonna? I don't. It, I don't. I can see you falling over, just, uh, falling and shit. <laughs> Dude, I went. I went one year with. Ride that scooter. I went with that one year boat. with my wife and her sister's friend, and it was so it was the three of us, and literally we got into the haunted house, and my wife was like holding on with a death grip to my shoulder with her head like oh buried my into my back as I just walked and That's gonna um, be me. her sister's friend was had her arm on Kathy's shoulder oh with my her God. head buried into her back. I'm getting scared right now thinking and about I it. And I walked, I just walked through the thing high with a smile on my face. Hell no, you are <laughs> that weird dude, bro. <laughs> because, I mean, that shit scares me. It's, it's, <laughs> it would be scary as fuck if I wasn't a, expecting it okay, but i'm expecting it. it you know what you, you can't i mean you know you, what we have to do one year and there's definitely moments where you walk through and you go <gasps> oh shit. i don't like, need that you like the heart pounding Me, but that, that's, listen fuck i do so I'm, much trying to calm that to, to take, not feel like that why would nah, i want to go and make myself because, feel like that because it's a fun it's a fun way Safe. it's not like you're you're like Safe. skydiving or bungee dumping like jumping my bad dumping it's like natural dumping. adrenaline I it have is, yeah. so much natural fight adrenaline. Fight or flight adrenaline. I spend so much. I spend all my time trying to get out of fight or flight, though. Like <laughs> I'm in fucking I, flight mode right now. <laughs> I'm ready to get out of here, dude. <laughs> hey, so anybody listening to this, our plan is to get extremely high and take like a group stoner trip to fucking 13th floor and go like as a group, like a high group. No, thank you. You guys have a good. And time. I'm gonna try to fucking body cam that shit. Body cam. I'm body <laughs> cam. <laughs> I, I, I have one of those like things you can wear on your chest and put the GoPro right here. I'm gonna wear it. I swear to God. Can they let it. you? Well, then you gotta be in front. Ah, uh, I gotta be on the side. I gotta, I gotta be, be on the side. I gotta be holding on to you, bro. Oh man. You can't be too close to me, or all you're gonna see is my back. Oh shit. <laughs> you gotta wear it. We need a brave so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit Mitch up. Mitch will wear it. <laughs> oh. Let's go. You asked me what I did this last week, and I just remembered. Oh. <laughs> what? The wig. Okay. Um, I joined the, uh, or I went to a, um, a Chamber of Commerce Cannabis Coalition, the first meeting for the a Cannabis Chamber of Commerce. Was Harry Potter there? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, Chamber, when she said Chamber, I just. Yeah, so you know, like a chamber, chamber of commerce for like businesses? Yeah. For yeah. like, so, um, and it was right down, like literally like like half a block away. And I joined the Not education committee, so I'm going to be helping educate, I guess, like the state on like cannabis and medicine. So maybe they don't fuck it up so much. Yeah. Or make it yeah. better. There you go. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good news. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Super excited. If you ever need advice, you got some real stoners over here. Yeah. That wouldn't mind. I always come to you guys for advice. There. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Snap back into it. Sorry. Um. This is the last question. Okay. And this one's going to be fun. Okay. Have you ever had a supernatural experience? Yes. Oh. Yes. I love it Ooh, when they some say ghost yes. shit. Let's go. 
Oh, <clears throat> um, supernatural. Like a ghost. Any, okay. Any, any supernatural any kind experience. Of let's hear what shit. you. What, let's hear what your thought yeah. was as soon <clears throat> as you heard that question. Well, start. I was just thinking about when I was going through my uh, spiritual awakening. Let's hear about it. And I'm all in. Um, you know, so like we are just we just all have a veil. Do you understand this? Like we we only see like ten percent of what's going on around us, and so we have this like veil over us that prevents us from being able to see like the um, unseen world. And so as you're doing like spiritual practices, which like I used to like um, uh, intentionally try to awaken, um, try to awaken more, um, just through like medit like extreme meditation and yoga, like um, and so when I became a yoga teacher, I just um started like um i don't know if i want to tell the story <laughs> oh, you don't have to. <laughs> um okay okay how about this one so one day i um i was going through really a lot of stress with my neighbors below me and um i was walking up it was like three o'clock in the morning and my hands were full of groceries and i was walking up um the steps to my apartment and i lived on the the top floor and I could feel somebody like was up there waiting, and I had just been getting yeah harassed by my <clears throat> by my neighbors. And I came around the corner, and I about lost my um, lost my breath because there was this old Asian woman at the top of the stairs, and she had like money in her hand, and she came and she took m my groceries from me, <laughs> and then she was like gone, and she like didn't live there, and it like wasn't it was like. Um, Hell no! <laughs> she disappeared. She took my groceries and she like put them down. This old Asian, like, yeah. And no. So, uh, so as I saw, I went and saw some like psychics and healers. Like after that, as I got like more and more into the into mes metaphysics and healing, and they're like, yeah, that wasn't that was uh, Quan Yin, and <laughs> so that Who's I got. Quan Yin? She's like a um, um, like a um, um what is it, uh, ascended master, like um any like a spiritual figure that's not around anymore so they're like yeah that wasn't real so like she took your groceries and put them away and then she, yeah she took them out of my hands because i like was right. so anxious and like so overwhelmed and i was going through it was r um right as this awakening was starting for me Bro. and it was just this feeling of it was this absolute feeling i get to like I, I went inside my apartment and like if it had just been a person i would have come back to normal but i like couldn't breathe for like 20 minutes and i knew and but it was this feeling of like everything's gonna be okay was what I got like like somebody had helped me in a time when nobody was helping me and um, I couldn't help my I wasn't <coughs> even helping myself and um, so things started to shift like hugely after then but like yeah she wasn't <coughs> it might even yeah it was super like in the yeah <laughs> so a lot of I had a lot of I started to have like a lot of kind of um. <coughs> Me. more experiences like that as i uh was really like in with her in my practice <coughs> no but i did i did do figures I, yeah and I was I did. like maybe it's the grudge <laughs> no she was good it's uh, all good <laughs> she helped her with her groceries. i know yeah. <laughs> maybe it's the grudge <laughs> she she's trying to bamboozle you yeah <laughs> it's, the, it's the ghost of christmas past yeah <laughs> But I'm not so like I've seen ghosts before. I'm not a huge. Uh, I don't um, like to see ghosts very much. Okay. <laughs> I think well, you saw a spirit. Yeah. Take that. Okay. That it got look. Mm -hmm. Every fucking hair on my fucking body was standing up. I hope that got it. Well, thank you. Yeah. We, <laughs> we needed that. Welcome October. <laughs> October's here, everyone, and it's just gonna it's gonna get better. That was great. Thank you so much. It, it's it's been a pleasure having you. Um, I cannot wait to see the great things coming up. And we'll, we'll we'll obviously probably be here to help you Yay, throw that party. Thanks. Yeah. So just keep us posted. Okay. And we'll get it popping. Let's go ahead and do some shout outs. Okay, well, you want to go first? Uh, sure. I'll be sure. quick. Uh, shout out to all the fans, all the listeners. Um, Shout out to my wife, as always. Um, just always having my back and trying to motivate me to do the stuff that she knows makes me happy. Um, and shout out to you, Jordan. Shout out to 
Chibi D. Chibi D. Let's mm-hmm. get it. And just the whole industry. Shout out to y'all. Quit arguing with each other and just love up. Hell yeah. Love up. I'm out. Hey. Miss Chibi D, you got a quick shout out. You shout want? out to Hippie Life. Thanks for having me. Shout out to Chibi D. Life. Shout out to Tangi. Yes. Shout out to, yes. Hey, Tangi. Shout out to Dom Life. Um, shout out to uh, Women Grow. I'm loving what they're doing. And Can of Friends, too. And the MMJ community. And everybody helping to make that stronger. And Just make an impact. Yeah, making an impact. Everybody out there making an impact, living their truth, being authentic every day. Shout out to you. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, I want to say one more thing. I, shout out to Chris. Chris is the homie. Yes. Big shout out to Chris, man. For real. I'm giving him a big, yeah. <laughs> big shout out to Chris, man. We appreciate you, man. You, you're taking care of us for like four weeks straight, bro. Like, we love, love you, man. All love. We love you. I want to give a big shout out, man, really to my lady, bro. Since I started this new job, she's been holding it the fuck down uh, with the kids, the house. Like, everything's just been spot on. So, uh, really big shout out to you. Um, and just, man, shout out, for real, just shout out to you too, like, both of y'all. Kyle's do killing it at work. Um, ChiBD, yeah. it's about to explode. Uh, life is good right now, man. You do good stuff, good stuff comes back for you, man. Yeah. Exactly. I, I feel like I'm starting to finally get over all the bad stuff I did, and my karma's starting to come around again. There you go, <laughs> man. And that's the good feeling to have. I want everyone to make sure you check out Hippie get Life. Get out of this fucking boot. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Check out hippielifeent.com. Um, you can listen to all the latest and oldest podcast episodes on there. And uh, by the time you hear this, we're going to have new merch up. So check it out. Boom. That being said, man, this is Session Fitty. Mm. Session Fitty. Right? Is yeah, it is. Session Fitty? Fitty. We're it halfway is. there. Halfway to, halfway to Cali? Halfway to Cali, bro. Hey. It's been a fucking pleasure. Young Hippie, K-Boog, Miss GBD. We love the shit out of every single one of you guys. Be safe, and we'll see you next weekend. Peace. Peace.